Hello, science people. Lately, my science students have been asking me lots of questions about the COVID-19 vaccine, especially regarding myths and rumors that have been circulating on the internet and on social media. One in particular seems to have my students concerned. It's the myth that the COVID-19 vaccine could cause infertility in females, in women. And so let's talk about the science behind this. We have all seen images of the COVID-19 virus. It is a sphere that is covered in spike proteins. Well, what do those spike proteins do? Those spike proteins are used to attach to your cells. The spike proteins will attach to one of your cells, the virus will inject DNA or RNA into your cell, and then you will begin replicating viruses. This is the infection, this is how the virus spreads. So one thing that our bodies do is we create antibodies that block spike proteins. When we make a vaccine, we can make a vaccine that will cause our body to make antibodies that will block those spike proteins. And this is the route that we were going to go with, and this is the route that we did go with, with the COVID-19 vaccine. But a German scientist asked this question. He noticed that the spike proteins in COVID-19 share a few amino acids with a protein called syncytin-1. <coughs> syncytin-1 is the protein used in placental development in humans. And so he said, if the COVID-19 spike proteins share a small amount of the amino acid sequence with syncytin-1, and we create antibodies for that, and the antibodies block the spike protein, will those antibodies also block placental development? We should ask questions like that, definitely, especially when creating medicine or vaccines. But it wasn't long until we thought about it and said, no, that's not an issue, that's not a problem. And so why? Well, I heard a scientist explain it like this. It's only a few amino acids that match. It would be the same as if I had a seven digit phone number that had a two and a five in it, and you had a seven digit phone number that had two and a five in it. If you dial that either of those phone numbers, they're not gonna call the same person because there's all these other phone numbers involved in it. Just like with proteins, there's all these other amino acids involved. So just because they shared a few of the amino acids does not mean that you're gonna cause the exact same thing. So the antibodies were not gonna block the placental development just because they block the spike protein of the COVID-19 virus. Okay, so there's a little bit of amino acid overlap between syncytin-1 and the spike proteins of COVID-19. Now, that's not an issue, but I wanna talk about how we could have thought about this critically. And so, if you catch a virus, you make antibodies naturally. It's a natural immunity. You will make antibodies. So anyone who's caught COVID-19 makes COVID-19 antibodies. If we give you the vaccine, you will make COVID-19 antibodies. So the vaccine is a, is a way to cause your body to make these antibodies without you having to catch the virus. And so if we were to think about this, if we really thought the vaccine would cause people to be infertile, that would also mean COVID-19 would cause people to be infertile because you're making antibodies either way. So if the vaccine were to make you infertile, catching COVID-19 would also make you infertile because COVID-19 will cause you to make the antibodies that block the spike proteins of COVID-19 anyway. And so if we think about things this way, we think about it in a rational way, we can see that these myths don't have much validity. And so we can move on. So I want you to think about it. If the vaccine were to cause infertility, so would catching COVID-19. And since we've had the vaccine, we've had plenty of women that have received the vaccine and have given birth. We had women in the studies, the COVID-19 test trials that got pregnant during the trials and have since given birth. So, so far our data shows that there is no infertility issues with the COVID-19 vaccine. All right, everybody, I'll see you next time.